In this video, we're going to take a look at finding equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's look at an example. It turns out that parallel lines, well, if we think of them, remember parallel lines are ones that will never intersect. Their slopes are the same. So if we can find the slope of a line, we can make a line that's parallel to it by using what the same slope. A perpendicular line, for those, the slope is the opposite reciprocal. So the opposite reciprocal of a number, say we have 3, the opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 third. And we'll look more at that in a little bit. But let's start out by finding a parallel line to this equation right here y equals negative x plus 6 and we want it to pass through the point 5 0 okay so the first thing we need to find is the slope and we're gonna pick that out of this equation right here and there it is right in front of the x the slope is negative 1 so the slope of a parallel line is also going to be negative 1 then we can use this point that we're given and our good old point slope form to get our equation. So we're going to fill those things in. Remember point slope form is y minus, we'll start filling in things here, y minus y sub 1, well here's our y sub 1, 0, equals the slope negative 1 times x minus 5. Okay, and sometimes we might be asked to find the slope intercept form of that equation. We can easily do that just go ahead and distribute that negative 1 through. So on this side, we're just left with y, because subtracting 0 doesn't change it, equals negative 1 times x would be negative x. Then negative 1 times negative 5 would be plus 5. Now, notice, these equations look awfully similar. Because the slope is the same, they'll be parallel. Let's take a look at another one that's parallel and finding uh, a line that's parallel to this one through this point. Okay, again we need to find the slope so we track that down. Hey there it is right with the x there. 3 so the slope of our parallel line is also going to be 3. Then we're going to use the slope and this point and the point slope form to put them in there. So y minus y sub 1 here's our y so y minus 4 equals our slope is 3, so 3 times x minus negative 1 minus a negative is plus, so 3, our x plus 1. Then, if we want it in slope intercept form, then we go ahead and distribute through that 3, so y minus 4 oops, equals 3 times x, and then 3 times 1, so that would be plus 3. Then finally, we got to get that y by itself, so we go plus 4, and then plus 4, and we end up with y equals 3x plus 7. Again, notice those slopes are, are the same. The equations look very, very similar. The only difference is that y-intercept. Let's like, take a look at an example where we need to write the equation of a line that's perpendicular. When it's perpendicular, remember we look for that slope, then we need to find the opposite reciprocal. So in this one, we have x over 3. Well, that's the same thing as 1 third times x. So our slope right here is 1 third in this equation. The perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal. So the opposite of 1 third would be negative 1 third. And then we take the reciprocal, which means we flip it. So we have negative 3 over 1, which is equal to negative 3. Then we have a slope and we have a point. So same old story. Fill those into the point slope form. So y minus 1 equals our slope, negative 3 times x minus, there's our x, minus 3 minus negative 3, so that would be plus. Three. Oop, that 3 didn't turn out very well. Let's try that again. 3. Hey, there we go. All right. 
Then again, we can get into the slope intercept form, distributing that negative 3 through. So we have y minus 1 equals negative 3x, then negative 3 times 3 would be negative 9. Finally, get the y by itself by adding 1 to both sides, add 1, and we're left with y equals negative 3x minus 8. Okay, so that would be perpendicular to this equation and through the point negative 3, 1. There's one more I want to show you. Let's say that we wanted a line that's perpendicular to this one and through the point negative 1, 4. So if we were going perpendicular, I'm just going to switch colors again here. Remember the perpendicular slope would be negative 1 over 3 that opposite reciprocal so there's our slope of the original equation we flip it and we take the opposites so we're negative one third then we have the slope and a point again so we're gonna fill those in we go y minus 4 equals negative one third times x minus a negative 1 which would be plus 1 okay oh, my pen is not cooperating very nicely tonight alright then get that in point slope form or slope intercept form excuse me it is point slope form so y minus 4 distribute that negative 1 third through so we have negative 1 third x negative 1 third times 1 is minus 1 third then finally we need to add that 4 to get the y by itself so add 4 both sides and we're left with I'm just gonna go right over here with it y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 11 over 3 because we added 4 to that 1 third and to that negative 1 third excuse me and 4 is 12 over 3 we're taking 1 third away so we're at 11 over 3 now, what I did just to show how these are indeed parallel and perpendicular is I graph them on my um, using a graphing calculator and I just want to show you what those graphs look like. So right here we are and the first one I graphed is the red one. That's our original equation right here. The th y equals 3x plus 2 then I graph the equation that we found that was parallel passing through negative 1 4 that is the we lost it it's underneath our picture there or underneath our graph the 3x plus 7 notice how it does indeed have a y-intercept of 7 and it passes through the point negative 1 4 right there then I also graph the one that's perpendicular which is this right here that we found and it has that um, negative one-third slope sure enough this is a negative slope and it passes through that point or the intercept of just under four right there eleven-thirds and finally it does indeed go through that point negative one-four that's where those two lines cross so finding equations of parallel and perpendicular lines remember parallel lines are going to have the same slope and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes and we saw how when we write those equations if we graph them sure enough they are both parallel and perpendicular I hope that was helpful remember practice makes perfect when it comes to math keep working hard